Hello, in this video we're going to look at maximizing net benefits using calculus. So net benefits equal total benefits minus total cost. Total benefits may represent things like revenue from selling units of output. It could represent improved health outcomes from reducing pollution. It may represent better performance on an exam from studying. Total cost may represent cost of producing units of output, cost of reducing pollution, and the cost of studying for an exam. Example 1. We have a benefit equation, which is a function of Q, some activity. So benefits equals the following. And we have a cost equation of engaging in that activity. Our goal is to maximize net benefits the difference between benefits and costs. So here's method one. We're going to set up a net benefit equation, which is just benefits minus cost. And we want to find the value of Q that will maximize net benefits. So setting up this equation then, we got the benefit equation. And then we're subtracting out 20Q, the cost side. To maximize this, we're going to take the derivative of the net benefit equation with respect to our choice variable, how much activity are we going to be engaged in, and that's represented by variable Q. So taking the derivative, and because we're maximizing, we're going to set that derivative result equal to zero. So the derivative of 200Q is 200. The derivative of minus 1.5Q squared is minus 3Q. We take this 2 in the exponent and we're going to multiply that 2 by 1.5, so that's where the 3 comes from. And then from this exponent, we're going to subtract 1, so it's just q raised to the power of 1. And then finally, the derivative of minus 20q is just minus 20. We're going to now solve this equation for q. So 200 minus 20 is 180. Moving some things around. And now dividing through by 3, the level of Q that maximizes net benefits is 60. Another way of solving this problem is to use marginal analysis. So to maximize net benefits, we can continue to do an activity up to the point where the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost. What is a marginal benefit? The change in total benefit from doing one more unit of an activity and it can be calculated as the derivative of the total benefit equation. So taking the derivative of the B equation, the benefit equation, with respect to Q. As for marginal cost, it is the change in total cost from doing one more unit of an activity. It is the derivative of the total cost equation. So marginal cost is the derivative of the C equation with respect to Q. Keep in mind that Anything in economics that has marginal in its name is derived through a derivative. So a derivative is nothing more than a marginal concept. So to maximize net benefits, we're going to set the MB equation equal to the MC equation. Setting those two derivative results equal and then solving for Q. So let's show that numerically. So the same benefit and cost equation that we started with, let's first get marginal benefit. So the derivative of 200q minus 1.5q squared is 200 minus 3q. And the derivative of the cost equation just gives us 20. Setting mb equal to mc, solving for q. You'll recognize that we saw this answer before. So q equals 60. 60 is the level of the activity that maximizes net benefits. If we want to, we can calculate the size of those net benefits at 60 units of the activity by taking this 60 here and plugging it into our net benefit equation. And we get 5,400. All right, let's do one more example. Example two, slightly different benefit equation, slightly different cost equation. We can set up the net benefit equation as the benefits minus the cost. So we've got to be careful here. We want to subtract out the entire cost. 
So a lot of times I'll put in the cost equation, I'll first put it in, in, in parentheses and then have a minus in front of it. And then I'll distribute the minus sign to make sure I don't make any uh, sign errors. So minus two, minus five Q, and then minus Q squared. So taking the derivative of that, if we wanted to, we could have combined a few of these terms, but whatever, uh, I just took the derivative of this and you get this result setting that result equal to zero. So 45 minus five is 40, minus two Q minus two Q is minus four Q. Again, that result is set equal to zero. Solving for Q, we get Q equals 10. Method two, just get the marginal benefit. So the derivative of 45 Q minus Q squared is just 45 minus two Q. And the derivative of marginal cost is 5 plus 2q, setting those two equations equal, solving for q. So 4q equals 40, q equals 10. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.